Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Holy Seven Channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me. If you're new out here, he's my husband and my co-host. And uh, he has a prophecy he's going to read for you today. And again, we have the gift of prophecy. You can read about that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It's one of the spiritual gifts. Uh, join me in the New King James Version Study Bible. Guess where we're going to be? Revelation. Revelation. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in Revelation chapter 3, uh, verses 14 to 21. Uh, this could be you. Are you the lukewarm church? Are you lukewarm? And to the angel of the church of Laodiceans, right? These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Wow, that sounds really nasty there. Uh, let's, let's keep going here. Because you say, I am rich and have become wealthy, and I have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him, and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, and also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. So he does not like lukewarm. So choose. Okay, Brother Dan? Yep. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I got this word on April 6th of 2013. Have my children not strayed from the truth? Does my judgment not await this evil generation? The fires of hell shall consume them. They walk along the perilous path of destruction. Those that walk in darkness shall stumble. Heed now my warnings, for your wickedness shall be your demise. Treachery shall speak with a pleasing melody. Shall patience not have a beginning and an end? The ways of evil shall become visible in the light of day. Speak now, son of man, speak of the finite nature of man. What I willed became into being. I am the everlasting truth. I shall hasten the end of this wicked generation. Do the do those do not speak for themselves? Has this age of enlightenment not closed man's eyes to their Creator? Their, shall, their shallow death of their understanding will work against them. Repentance comes from the heart, not the lips. Envy and strife have found a home in their hearts. Those that seek me shall find me, and another they shall not follow. Shall today be the day that your eyes shall be open to my ways? Amen. Praise the Lord there. So you have the everlasting truth. And again, the Lord is saying here, uh, I know your works. I am the faithful, the true witness, the beginning and the end. I wish that you were not hot or cold. Uh, Brother Dan's uh, prophecy message from the Lord says about how they're walking dangerously in the path. They're not coming forward. They're just thinking things are going to keep on going as they are. They're not. You need to make a choice. You can't be lukewarm. Uh, choose the side of the Lord. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Thank you, everyone. God bless you, all my new friends and subscribers. Thank you, Brother Dan. Thank you, Lord. We're still on here. We're still dangling on. And uh, again, thank you for joining us. Come back again for another message. Amen. Shalom.